Hey, it's Michael Tech PB, and I've got a lot of questions about concerning tanks. I um, did put the show up on uh, high pressure air converting from CO2 to high pressure air, and uh, I always get emails about, uh, Mike, what the hell is it on the back of your tank? And um, basically all I have here on the back of my tank is some um, hockey tape that I bought from Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, I don't really like using a tank cover. It's, you know, it's all personal preference. Some people like using a tank cover, some people don't. Um, for me, I've found that uh, when I have a tank cover, when I'm playing a lot of games, you know, and, and usually, you know, we're over at, you know, I practice at CFP in Lakeland Central Florida Paintball, Great Fields, and also at Cone Sports and Riverview. You know, after you play, you know, 20, 30 games of X-Ball against some of these teams that I play against, you know, Fierce and uh, CP Factory and Damage and, you know, Palm Beach Vipers and all these other really good teams, I mean, you're going to get shot a lot, okay, a lot. And um, I found that the tank covers just have a tendency to retain a lot of a uh, lot of shell, a lot of more, a lot of uh, um, you know they retain a lot of shell, they retain a lot of paint. It just it just kind of turns into a sticky sponge. And uh, by just using the tank tape on the back, if I get hit in the tank, I can just wipe it off. Now, the next question people always ask me is, uh, you know, well, you know, if without a tank cover, aren't you afraid that your tank is going to get damaged or anything like that? I mean. I play on grass. I mean, when I'm playing in the woods, I'm playing in the, uh, you know, I'm playing on dirt and stuff like that. I mean, I don't play on concrete. I mean, this is this is one of the hardest substances out there right now. I mean, you've got aluminum wrapped in carbon fiber, um, you know, sealed in epoxy resin. So unless you drop this on concrete, there's really not much that's going to happen to your tank when you're out there on the field. I mean, I've, I've scratched a couple tanks here and there, uh, you know, sliding into a stake or something like that. But, um, but honestly, if, if you're going to cause damage to this tank, an extra sixteenth of an inch of fabric isn't going to protect this thing. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, it's, it's like this, the same amount of a, a material that goes into this washcloth is wrapped around it. Like, that's going to help it much. I mean, it's kind of more of a, a personal preference if you like them or not. Now, why I do the tank tape is, uh, you know, when I'm out there and I'm playing, especially with, you know, with, the, with the jerseys, the nylon jerseys, Without it on the back, my uh, tank slips around a little bit on my shoulder. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you what I do. Okay, this is basic hockey tape, $2 uh, a roll hockey tape. Uh, it's called Renfrew, uh, R-E-N-F-R-E-W, hockey tape, made in Canada. And they sell it at Dick's Sporting Goods, I think, for uh, $2.99. This is what it looks like. So if you go into the hockey section, this is what it looks like. Now, I don't think this is the friction tape. This is just hockey tape. And uh, basically all I do here is uh, I'm gonna try to do this without uh, trying to you know trying to show you guys how to do this is I just first off I crisscross it on the back and one of the things I really like about this hockey tape over the athletic tape is the athletic tape has a tendency to really stick really hard um, and leave a ton of gummy mess on the tank when you peel it off I mean as you see I peeled that old layer off and uh, there's no gummy mess or sticky mess on my tank so uh, basically all I do is I just take this crisscross it on the back and I usually do this you know it's like cutting a pizza I do it about eight times crisscrosses a couple times here okay okay so you can see you know how it's coming along here it just crisscrosses on the back and then I put a two more pieces of tape on here and I go a little bit up the tank, not far, but a little ways up the tank. And then just cut it. So you can see what we're doing here. We're just putting tape across the back. And I, I mean, I really like the way this feels. And it, it works really, really well. And it's cheap. I mean, one roll of this can do probably 30 tanks. Um... Okay, so that's it on the back. And then, so as you can see, how we have this set up here, so it's just overlapping pieces, just like cutting a pizza. And then what I do to prevent my wrist from rubbing the, the tape off, I'm just going to wrap it around the tank um, a couple of times just to make sure that none of this comes up. So let's get this going here. This is kind of sticky. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to wrap this around the tank a couple of times uh, to make sure that the uh, the crisscrossing pattern doesn't come up. 
And while I'm doing this, a lot of people, you know, they ask me about PSI and cubic inch and and uh, stuff like that. What does CI mean? What does PSI mean? Okay, PSI stands for pounds per square inch. Okay, that's the pressure of the tank. Two, tanks come, uh, you know, high pressure tanks come in two sizes: the 4,500 psi and 3,000 psi. The 4,500 psi are generally the carbon fiber. The 3,000 psi are generally the aluminum or the steel tanks. Okay, and as you can see, that's all done. That looks really nice. And uh, now it's not going to slip around on my shoulder. It's not sticky or anything. It feels great. Um, uh, CI, like 45 cubic inch, 68 cubic inch, 88 cubic inch. Okay, I've got a little stick of cheese here. Okay, and this is basically a cube. Um, cubic inch is basically that. It's a, it's a one inch cube. So let's take like this little stick here. Cut that. Okay, that's a, that's a cubic inch basically. I mean, it's not perfect. I don't give a shit, but you know, it's, it's a cubic inch. And uh, what basically when they're talking about cubic inch, like 68 cubic inch and 45 cubic inch, it's basically a 45 cubic inch tank. It's a smaller tank. It's going to fit 45 of these little uh, – <laughs> here comes my dog over. There you go. Looks cheese, yes. Um, where Rocky? This is uh, – for you guys that don't know, this is Rocky, the rendition dog. And believe it or not, he does have an APPA ID. And an app <laughs> and an appa uh, id card that he wears uh, sometimes when we go to the tournaments but cubic inch and uh cubic inch is basically a 45 cubic inch fits 45 um 45 of these little cheese cubes um 68 cubic inch fits 68 of these cheese cubes 88 cubic inch fits 88 of these cubes 114 fits 114 of these cubes so you can just imagine stacking all these up how much bigger it's going to be that's what ci means 45 cubic inch, 4,500 tank, you're going to get maybe 900 shots on an average gun. Um, 68 cubic inch, 4,500, you're probably going to get between 14 to 1,700. 88, you're going to shoot over a case. 114 PSI, I mean, it's <laughs> maybe 3,000, 3,000 shots on it. So that's basically what tank wrap is, what the hell is on the back of my tank. And um, first post on this video, I'm going to ship you out some of this. So enjoy.